Potential? Hello, old friend. Did you miss me? Apparently so. And apparently I need to see a psychiatrist. Now, now. Don't let one bad movie make you self-reproachful. Yeah, but that's just it. It's never just one bad movie. Ultrasack was right. I mean, as much as I tried to put a positive spin on things back when I did the show, I reviewed a lot of terrible movies. And it doesn't look like things are going to be changing anytime soon. Do you really think that only Christian movies are terrible? There are people who have made their entire career about mocking bad movies. Yeah, but we should be doing so much better than we are. I mean, it's not like we don't have a century of cinematic experience to draw from. Hmm, that's true. Tell you what, the director of a movie you once reviewed is working on a new series. The pilot episode is available. Why don't you review that? What was the movie I reviewed? It was called My Son. You gave it a very positive review. Oh, hang on. I didn't review that one. Ultrazak did. Just watch the pilot episode of Vindication and tell us if you think it's worth watching. Yeah, I just watched a half-hour show and the time it took for the titles to roll. Just accept it. So, like Potential said, Vindication was made by the people who created the film My Son, which, like my alternate universe counterpart, I really did enjoy. Vindication is a crime drama mystery thriller series. The first episode, called Alibi, is about Detective Travis interrogating a man named Derek Taylor, who's played by Courageous's Ben Davies. Derek tells Detective Travis about how his marriage has been falling apart and how he's been seeing a woman from his work named Rebecca. Now, as he tells his story, Detective Travis asks him more and more probing questions. Was his wife prone to violence? Was there tension at work between Rebecca and her female co-workers? How far did his affair with Rebecca go? Now, we're not told up front what exactly the crime is that Derek is being interrogated for. His alibi is really all about his marriage struggles and what he is or isn't doing to make things better. It's not until literally the last moments of the show that we find out what's been going on and... Whoa. I really enjoyed this show. It does a really good job of setting the stage and drawing you into the mystery, trying to figure out what's been going on. At first, the answer seems obvious, but each passing moment brings in a new bit of information with a new twist that has you second-guessing everything before. And what I really liked was how the ending was handled. The revelation of what's been going on is so quick. It's like the movie punches you in the gut and then throws you into the credits before you have a chance to catch your breath. I love that. So like I said, Vindication is a series. All that's available right now as I'm recording this is the first episode. But that's all it took to get me hooked and really wanting to see more. They just wrapped production of the final episode in November of 2018, so I'm hoping it won't be too much longer before we can get to see more. So from the information available on their website, it looks like this is actually going to be an anthology series, with Detective Travis being the central character in each episode. We don't really learn much about Detective Travis in this first episode. It's really more about Derek's character arc. So I'm interested to see what more there is to the detective as the series progresses. And I should say that there is more to this show than just being a good mystery drama. There are some good spiritual messages and themes that are woven in that definitely classify this as a Christian film. Granted, it does deal with a more mature subject matter, so parental discretion advised. But yeah, Vindication has solid performances, solid production values, a solid story, it's definitely worth watching. Now that's more like it. I knew you had it in you. Okay, yeah, I was giving up too soon. I, I just get so frustrated when I see Christians failing so often. Sounds like you still have a lot of potential for growth. Did you just make a dad joke about yourself? Eh, it's not like I have to be a sinister cryptic figure all the time. So, now what? Has your faith in Christian films been restored yet? Well, not exactly, no. Okay, so, so far we've looked at a Pure Flix movie, some cheesy classic films, a garbage fire, and a really good short film. 
it could still go either way for me. I, I'm just worried that we're going to get another God's Not Dead, you know, a terrible film that Christians just fall in love with. Is there anything that's not pure flicks that's good and has actually gotten some good traction? I can only imagine. See, that's my point. We can only imagine the possibility of there being a good Christian film someday. As I said, I can only imagine. Right, and like I said... Storyteller, the film you're looking for is called I Can Only Imagine. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to the incredible people who support me on Patreon. Knowing that there are people willing to come alongside me and help me in this crazy filmmaking journey is so incredible. If you want to join those awesome people in supporting my films, head over to patreon.com slash Zach Lawrence.